Understanding the digital divide and broadband availability is a geographic analysis problem. Where are the underserved communities and why? How do we better serve them as efficiently and effectively as possible? Those are the questions we'll look to answer in this demonstration as we start scoping out our broadband expansion projects. Now, all good analysis starts with good data. Esri offers a curated library of geographic data through the ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World that can be used during the project scope and analysis phase of a network build-out, and specifically to help understand where underserved communities exist, how many people are underserved, and who these residents are, there are demographic data sets, broadband access and availability data sets, and data sets of the FCC Form 477 submission results. So using this geographic data with geographic analysis, let's see if we can understand the digital divide of the community of Lakeland, Florida, and then locate ideal community centers and schools to use as free public Wi-Fi locations or fixed wireless sites to offer a better broadband connection to the community's residents. With ArcGIS, you can map any geographic data that you have, as well as leverage the geographic data that Esri curates. Here is the Form 477 dataset added to our map. The areas in pink have a lower broadband score, which means Based on the Form 477 submission results, these are the areas with poor broadband speeds and few other options for internet. So for this demo, these will be the areas we want to better serve. I'll also add to the map community centers, points of interest, and schools that we may want to offer Wi-Fi at, or even for a fixed wireless site deployment. Now that we have the data in our map, let's perform a 20 minute walk time analysis for these sites, which will allow us to understand the neighborhoods that will benefit from a Wi-Fi hotspot. We'll focus just on schools for today. So I'll select the schools in the Lakeland, Florida area, and we'll create our 20 minute walk time buffers. We can visually see the walk times and the neighborhoods within a 20 minute walking distance. But let's actually use suitability analysis to prioritize these sites based on how underserved these neighborhoods are and how many residents we would actually be serving. Suitability analysis allows us to weight different variables to understand how suitable a location is for meeting a certain criteria, like addressing an underserved community. There are many different socioeconomic and demographic variables to choose from, but I've created a specific list for broadband accessibility. The variables that I've selected include the median, upload and download speeds, number of internet service providers, total housing units, household income, and population growth. I've weighted upload and download speeds the highest, which means these variables will have the greatest influence on our suitability rankings. Now as we run this analysis and then view the results, we have a final score for each school or target public Wi-Fi location for how suitable that site is based on those weighted variables. We can always go back and change our variables or their weights if we decide to focus more on population growth and housing units, for example. Now that we have the rankings of sites in our suitability results, there is more than likely a project manager or team or city official who needs to make a final decision on which of these broadband projects to go ahead with. With ArcGIS, you can easily share analysis results through PDFs, web maps, and dashboards 
just like this dashboard we see here. This dashboard allows me to select a prospective site and view its location on the map with other nearby telecom infrastructure and also view an interactive infographic. We can explore the suitability analysis variables for each site along with additional broadband accessibility variables to help us make a final decision on which sites to offer Wi-Fi at. Whether it's specifically addressing digital divide, looking for areas to expand broadband into, prioritizing public Wi-Fi locations, or locating sites for fixed wireless, the geographic data and geographic analysis tools offered by ArcGIS can assist in all of your broadband build-out project scoping and analysis.